from leave.eu. This is the latest update from the 8th of January 2016. In our first newsletter of the year, we'd like to offer a heartfelt thank you for helping raise awareness for our campaign last year, and we wish you a happy and prosperous new year. Leave.eu begins 2016, a potentially historic year for the United Kingdom with fantastic momentum. The latest ORB opinion poll placed the Leave camp ahead of our opponents by seven points, a commanding position that we must build on. Now is not the time to become complacent, but to drive home our message and ensure 2016 is etched into British history for the right reasons. We therefore urge you to visit our website and sign up to Leave.eu, the fastest growing political campaign in the country. As we approach half a million supporters on social media and continue expanding our field campaign across the UK. Our CEO, Liz Bilney, was busy over the festive period writing a special introductory piece to kick off our new Leave.eu Messages series of articles. The aim of the series is for ordinary people to highlight how our EU membership affects their everyday lives, the industry in which they work and the community in which they live. If you're interested in becoming a Leave.eu messenger and sharing your story, please contact info at leave.eu. We'd love to hear from you. Politicians will not decide this referendum. You and I will. Late last year, in response to revelations that the government was deliberately holding back data on the scale of EU migration, the true scale may be up to 2.5 times higher than the official figures indicate. Leave.eu set up a petition calling for the government to publish the real numbers. We invite you to sign up and ensure that the institutions we rely on to be transparent within our democratic society honour their duty to serve its citizens and to be accountable. This week saw David Cameron give the green light to cabinet ministers to campaign with their conscience in the EU referendum. He had little choice as he attempts to retain unity in a party that is historically fragmented over the Europe debate. Nonetheless, we welcomed the announcement. Following this announcement was the launch of GO, or Grassroots Out, a campaign founded by Nigel Farage MEP, Kate Hoy MP, Tom Perslov MP and Peter Bone MP. It's designed to transcend party politics and is a group we look forward to working closely with in the lead-up to the referendum. Leave.eu is gaining recognition across Europe as the leading Leave campaign, as highlighted by an excellent Der Spiegel article this week and further illustrated by our involvement in the Foreign Press Association debate between Leave.eu co-chair Aaron Banks and Britain's Strong in Europe's Will Straw held in London. We would also like to use this opportunity to welcome Dr Richard North, one of the finest Brexit brains in the Leave.eu team. Dr North will be working as a consultant for the duration of the EU referendum campaign and will be actively involved in the composition of our formal exit plan. Our final thought is on Mr Cameron's fudged renegotiation as we await the next stage of the Great British Fudge-Off, the European Council's February summit. What we anticipate will follow is the portrayal of number 10, Cameron's European triumph. We must remember the 101 items not even on the agenda throughout the prolonged charade and the extent to which the United Kingdom can prosper as it detaches itself from political union with Europe. We start 2016 as we mean to go on, well equipped and 100% dedicated to ensuring that this year is a memorable one for Leave.eu and more importantly for the United Kingdom. Happy New Year, the Leave.eu team.